Sorry. <laughs> hey, we got a busy two, we got a busy two weeks ahead of us, don't we, Morg? We do. I um... summit, St. Louis, big event in St. Louis, 800 people at summit. <sighs> I am honest, like my health wise, I like physically wise, I'm not feeling good because I got a little sore throat, cough, congestion, tested negative for COVID, so it's all good there. Um, but I got some IV treatments this week. I got chiropractic care. I ate healthy, drank a lot of water. Um, so we'll be good. We'll be ready to roll by next week at Summit. But I'm excited for St. Louis. Um, we got the kids with us. So we're meeting my mom in St. Louis, so she'll be hanging with us as well. And we are gonna have an awesome event tomorrow with all four of our St. Louis gyms. Um, Kirkwood, O'Fallon, South County, and Manchester. So I'm excited. And then we get back Sunday. We spend one day in the office to wrap everything up and then we are off again to go to Jacksonville. I was gonna say, this is the journey. This is the life of the Kleins. This is the grind and we get to do it with our family. Uh -huh. And that's part of, the, part of the reason why we wanted to create the vlog is to show everybody what goes on really behind the scenes as we are growing Burn Nation and the next two weeks, the St. Louis event and Summit are gonna be perfect examples of, American you know, what Morgan and I will be doing over the I next couple understand. years to help build this company. So, St. Louis, the Lou, down, down, baby. think high five high five high five we made it we're in st louis max never been to st louis before have you superman yeah. and your first time for everything huh you excited you want to go say hi to everyone i think they're waiting for us what's up vlog it's dk and we are in the gym that started it all here in the show me state all right we got manchester missouri in the building they're packing it out Manchester, make some noise, yeah, woo! <laughs> As you can see, they're lively, they're hyped, they're ready to go. I'm support with Ashley's on the mic right now, and we're getting ready to kick everyone's butt. They're not gonna be cheering like that after we done, let's go. gym in the country in their right mind has this many people here on a Friday night. Both at the same time, I want eight reps. Get nice and low, just pull your pants up. There it is, right there, perfect. That's the appropriate amount of weight for you. That's how you're gonna take this right here and elevate it to the next level, all right? Pick that weight up that's a little bit scary. Y'all gotta pick that weight up that's a little bit scary. It should be scary, it's a little nerve wracking. That's why you should be getting nervous before your workout because you're anticipating the heavy weight that you're about to lift that you're not really sure if you can lift or not yet. And that's the magic to strength training. So my goal is to look around here and find RPE, rate of perceived exertion. That means zero if you're sleeping, 10, getting after it. I gotta look for 10s. Hey, I want you to rest right there, push those to the ceiling as fast as you can, go. Yeah, that's too light. Okay, put it on your leg, okay? Other one on this leg, that's how you start. I'm gonna spot you, all right? Let's go lay back, set on your chest. Three, keep them together. Three, two, one, press up, good. Now, up again, good. Let's go. Come on, push yourself. To get to the next stage of transformation, to get to the next level, you're gonna have to keep pushing it. It's gonna keep getting harder and harder and harder and harder, and you're gonna have to want it more and more and more. And you're gonna have to push that weight up and self-select that shit that you know is gonna be real hard. Up, 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 good, one more, one more, one more, last one, three, two, one, go. Press, good, let it rest on your chest. I'm gonna help you sit up, three, two, one, sit up. Woo! Let's go, baby! Triceps, lock them out, good. Now we're gonna go half rep, whole rep. I'm not gonna modify your weight up because I know you got a little wrist thing but I'm gonna modify your tempo, okay? So you're gonna go all the way down, touch elbows to the ground, come up halfway, stop, back down, elbows to the ground, explode up, good. 
And when you have a hurt wrist like this, you just keep your nice, smooth pace and keep your mind focused on those triceps. Good. So feel that squeeze every time. Good. Again. Up. Press. Good, Laura. Come on. Again. Down. Halfway up. Half all the way down and all the way up. Good. Good. That a girl. We're going to finish strong right here. Come on, Lori. Come on, Lori. Good. Good. Give me two more. Give me two more. That's one. Max is over there staring at you, by the way. He's going to remember that one right there. Daddy training grandma. Oh, oh, lose that. Okay, ready? Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. We're still going to do our last three, okay? All right. Last three good ones. Here we go. Me and you. I'll get you at that next rotation. Here we go. Up. Up, out, down, up, in, and down. That's one pin of E. Let's go. We're going up again. Hey, beautiful reps here. Looking so strong. You're under control. You're starting to lose it, and that's the perfect attitude right there. Keep pushing through. Last one, three, two, one, go. Last one. Out, good, down, and then push up, and that's failure. Got it. You did so good. That was awesome. Hi, my name is Chelsea Theodoropoulos. I am the franchise partner here in St. Louis at Manchester, O'Fallon, South County, and Kirkwood. I started back in 2015, right after my daughter was born, and a neighborhood friend had invited me in. I was terrified. I decided to come on a free Saturday, and I think we did burpees for 45 minutes straight, but I was hooked. And uh, I got more and more invested into the community, and uh, really, it started to, to shift my mindset, my body, my entire life, really from the inside out. And so uh, with that, when they started franchising, I wanted to pay that forward, and I made that leap by into the franchise, and I ended up here in St. Louis. I want to grow and I want to impact as many lives as I possibly can here in St. Louis. And it's all about quality for me, uh, not just impacting the number of lives, but I want to go deep. Uh, with those that were transforming and I also want to be able to take this opportunity and help transform and develop my team as well. All right guys, so we are getting ready to kick off our first camp here at our St. Louis event. We've got three camps today um, between all four gyms here in the, in the St. Louis area. So we're excited. We're gonna, getting set up. People are starting to come in. The energy is starting to build. Let's get after it. All right, everybody. Hey, we are in St. Louis. Four locations here and some surrounding locations from the greater region came together for three camps. We got 7.30 out here on the floor rocking right now. My favorite part of my job is being able to hang out with all these amazing people. And I have 14 trainers, seven stations, 45 minutes, and STL is about to burn this building down. Let's go, baby. I want you to go steam engines like this. Whack, boom, boom. Hard as you can right now. Here we go. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go, Kara. Let's go, Kara. Great job. It's so important to have a great team. I mean, our team in St. Louis, our 14 trainers that are here on the floor killing people today, inspiring them, motivating them. I use killing them in like an endearing fashion, but because that's what they want. They're out here, they come here to work hard. They're out on the floor right now, putting it in. We're about halfway through camp and uh, the trainers are breaking down their explanations. We're giving them 30 seconds and then three minutes and 30 seconds to put that work in. All right, Burn STL. When you have two minutes left, and it's your decision what you get to do with it. Everybody goes right now. Here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. It was the end yeah. of November that first year I joined. I walked in at about 225 pounds and cried because Kira was my trainer. Or she was up there training. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't do a sit up. Yeah. And um, I go from that girl to being in a community of not only just women of, who are 50 and older, but yeah. my teenage little friends right here. Yeah. Or now she's 20. But you know, everybody who comes and we support each other. You know, and I now have this story that I share with my family who struggles with obesity. Mm -hmm. And they see the change in their mom. Yeah, yeah. And they're now, they're making the changes. And so how many gyms have I been part of? A thousand. Yeah. How many diets have I been on? A thousand. Yeah. How many places have I been to over 1,400 times? Yeah, yeah. Burn. So anyway, yeah. thank you. I was telling her, I need something, I need boot camp, I need something that gets you going. And she was like, I go to Burn, you have to try it out. And I have been, almost three years ago, still coming back, haven't stuck with anything more than six months in my life. And I'm not exactly where I want to be on that journey, but I'm keeping going. So thank you for this team here is absolutely the best. And the community is like nothing else. So You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All right, everybody, it is camp two. It is packed, it's even more packed than camp number one. I'm on stage here in St. Louis. I got Chelsea, our FB right here, running the floor, running the show. And we are just having such a fantastic time. All right, we're putting our heart, our soul, our blood, our sweat, our tears on the line for each other right here on this floor. We're not in a gym because our gyms are too small to fit 200 people in a room at one time. So we rented out the venue, and then we packed out the venue. Let's go. We're going for 45 seconds. You're just gonna burn out on these on these slider climbers, okay? Here we go. Burn out. 85% of our weight on our hands. We want 15% of our weight back on our toes, okay? And those knees, you gotta drive up in between the elbows. This is a perfect alignment here with your shoulders over your wrists. We're gonna stay right here the whole time. Let's go. Five, eight, on, you got, seven, you got. six, there you go, you five, got. four, three, two, and one. Great effort, great effort, effort. Oh, yes. Hey, you two, good job, way to push. We're almost there. Come on, me and you, me and you. Hey, everybody, this is what, this is what STL Hustle is all about right here. Allie is putting in that work. It says it right under her shirt. Springfield MO coming soon. Come on, come on, in my hand, in my hand. We gotta show people that don't even know they're missing you. What their leaders are willing to do. What their leaders are willing to push through and sacrifice for their community. And you gotta do that not only with your words, but with your actions. So we're gonna finish all the way down to the end and we got 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. All the way, Cam. All the way, everyone. Come on, Julia, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. so far this is this journey this experience so far the energy that I felt yesterday at O'Fallon in Manchester and then today at the first two camps we have one more but it's like literally unmatched I've never felt this much energy from a burn community literally ever so that's my favorite thing yeah you're welcome I would say all the people and all of you guys are just so nice so friendly and when Devin and I were dreaming about what burn to be it's exactly what we've been seeing this weekend so it's been amazing, thank you. It's a lot. It's hard sometimes, but it's a lot. I went through like a really tough time this past year in my marriage and like burned. Like I told the trainer and like so all the trainers knew what was going on and their ability to push me on the floor and like just that focus to go to the gym each day yeah. like helped me to get through it. Mm -hmm. And I came up stronger, my marriage is stronger, like it's amazing. So I a lot of 
the success of that terrible year is because of them. So I appreciate it. Thank we you appreciate for you. That. Thank you for sharing that story. It's amazing. What do you hope that those kids, when they grow up and they develop their brain a little bit, what do they hope they say about mom when they were children? What do you hope they say? Um, she's strong and she doesn't give up. Perseverance and she's accountable and she's yeah, always there. That's amazing. Follow through. That's yeah. right. She takes care of herself to be a better person for everyone else around her. So. All right. It's a big, I love it's it. a big one. I love it. You it's guys a big changed one. my life. I started six months postpartum with my second, and and you've been here ever since. Ever since. Ever I worked since. out until 40 and five. The day before, 36 hours before I gave birth, yeah. I was in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> 40 so, and five. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. You got yeah. yeah. My three of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Two women dedicated to their three children. Yes. yes. Easy. Have you started to read this yet, Hope? No, I haven't. What do you read. hope to learn from it? Um, how, not, how not to keep starting over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and be consistent. That's when when did you start? Thing. When did you start with us? Uh, January, the first year Hope Allen opened. Got January. Yeah. I was one of the OG, I'm one of the OGs there. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. Right. And so I was out of my comfort zone for like a year and a half. I sat around. My, my kids are grown. I didn't. My husband works. So yeah, yeah. I, when it opened, it popped up on my Facebook, and I'm like. I'm going to do this. So I walked in by myself, which was a big step for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I have loved it. What a community. I've met so many great people. Awesome. awesome. So That's incredible. Thank you for starting. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. And you said consistency is the key, yeah. but you've been coming since January what? Uh, what is that? 18? Yeah. Something? So Something like that. pretty consistent, Hope. Yes, pretty I consistent. Am. All right, third camp of the day, and I'm more energized than ever. So people say, oh, aren't you so drained after these days? I'm like, no, I'm like so energized. I have so much positive energy and feedback right now from STL, and I'm going to put that into the third camp of the day. It's my babies. Hey, this is my reason. This is my why. Seven, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Good, bam. Bam, bam, good. Let's go three more rounds, just cuz, just cuz, good. Hard, 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 that's one. Hard, 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 that's two. Good, good. Other side, boom, 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 last one, last one, last one, last one. Ah. 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 Other side, last one, three, two, and one. Great job, great job, way to work. Let's go, right into this. Three, two, and one. Right now, I just wanna feel better. Okay. I'm gonna turn 40 in August. Okay. And I'm like, I joined Burn right before the pandemic. Okay. <laughs> and so it's been two and a half years. And first two years was just getting used to the idea of working out. Okay. Would you ever work out before? No. Okay. No. I've been to a couple of places. Um, and there was one place that I went in for, like, they, it was more personal training. And it, they went in for like an evaluation and something somebody, one of the guys during the, like the, to see where you were, something he said to me, I was like, absolutely not, I'm never coming back. I was- What did he say? He was do, we're doing, it was supposed to do like squats on a BOSU. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna have you do them on the floor. I'm like, well, I can do them on the ball. And he said, oh, looking at you, I wouldn't have expected you to be able to do that. And I'm like, I'm done, I'm never coming back. Like I had paid and I'm like, nope, I'm, that money's gone. Um, but so this is the first place ever where I felt like, oh, you care more that I'm here to be better as opposed to some specific ideal. Right, right, right. So now I'm trying to figure out exactly what, what I want to do and what, because I've discovered that, oh, I am physically capable of doing things I was unaware of before. And it's, you know, it's nice to see goals that for some people, are teeny tiny, but for me they're huge, and everybody at Burn celebrates them the same. Right. So, like I did um, the other day in camp, I did um, line hops mm -hmm. the whole time, and that was huge. Yeah. And so. The first time you did it the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. And so Aaron brought that up at the end of camp at Kirkwood, and and that made a big deal, and she made a big deal out of it. Yeah. And it was made you a feel big good, deal. empowered, yeah. empowered. Yeah. Um, would you like a piece of advice from me? Yes, I would. Have a vision. Yes. Have a vision. You don't need to know how to get to your vision. Yeah. You just need to have one. You need to have a vision of one day when you do like a specific story. It doesn't have to be like 
how people talk about visions and say, oh, I want to take over the world and I want to like, you know, <laughs> you know like yeah. have a six pack and build a huge bit. What? None yeah. of that. I don't mean that vision. I mean, on the day when you're the very most proud of yourself that you've ever been in your entire life and that cross section with what you thought you never could do and the day that you do that, um, start to visualize, ask yourself at the top of a piece of paper, say, what is the vision that I have for myself when it comes to the things that I've never been able to do before that I've always wanted to do? And if you answer that question thoroughly, it's gonna be a hard question to answer because yeah. it's a very vague question, but I, my advice to you would be write, write for 30 minutes, okay. okay? This is like, there's psychology behind this, okay? So the first five, you're gonna blank. Well, usually the first five, you're like, what in the hell am I doing? Why am I doing this? Right? <laughs> just writing words. The second five, you're going to be like, okay, well, like, okay, I might as well do this. I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. The third five, you're going to go blank. And then after that is when the magic starts to happen and the things that start flowing from your subconscious come forward. And now you've locked that in and you've got that on paper. And then it's the pursuit of the performance goal. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with weight. Has no. nothing, oh, no, no, no. has nothing to do with nutrition. It has nothing to do with it has everything to do with your own capabilities and performance and um, pushing your body to do something that you've never done before that you'd be that you'd feel really proud about regardless of what weight you are it doesn't really yeah. matter yeah. right but i um so having something like that is gonna kind of pull you forward that's one piece of the advice yeah. the other half of the advice is who is that person who is that cast that's in that used to be inside of here that you're never ever ever going back to again who is that person? What is that mindset? And you need to write that down. Yes. And you're gonna, you're gonna and that's gonna be an emotional thing yes. because you're gonna recall all of the negative emotions that came about during the darkest times. Mm -hmm. But you need something to run toward, and you also need something to run you're from. Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> and the one you need to run from is more powerful. Do you know why? Because you've already experienced that, it before. That's true. Right. And the one in the future, you haven't experienced it yet. Yeah. So you're just you're just trying to manifest something. But what are you running from? That's a very important question that you should um, ask yourself. And um, you're doing great, you. awesome. Keep it going. One step in front of the other means getting into camp every day, okay? And then the second, the second thing is layer on that vision. So you have the long term and the short term. Hey, my name is Jeff Como. I'm from Burn Boot Camp, Manchester, Missouri. For 14 years, I struggled with uh, depression, anxiety, not knowing who I was, not knowing what I wanted to do in life. I tried every fad diet, I tried every fitness program under the sun. I was uh, brought up in a household that was not encouraging. I was told by people who were supposed to support me in my dreams and supposed to uh, support me in my endeavors and what I wanted to do in life. They kept telling me, no, you can't do it. No, you'll never amount to anything. No, you can't achieve your goals and set out to do what you think you want to do. I was pushing 303 pounds. Um, Doctors gave me a couple months left to live. I was filling out insurance paperwork on death information. Uh, after that day, I went home that night, I broke down and uh, I didn't know if I wanted to do it anymore. I didn't know if I wanted to live. I didn't know if I wanted to continue this life. And I had a beautiful wife. I had two beautiful little girls, Aspen and Shay. I didn't know if I had anything left to live for after being beaten down my entire life. That next day, I was driving around after my lunch break. I had just finished eating for three, and uh, I saw the burn girl up in the logo, and uh, I walked in with a tear in my eye, and there was Jill, and I just told her, I don't want to look like this anymore. I I'm done. I, I just don't want to be this person anymore. And all she said back to me was, okay, I got you. And that was it. I've been at 5.30 a.m. camps ever since. Over the course of a year, I am now on zero medications instead of the six medications that I was on. Burn Boot Camp saved my life. I have a life debt to Jill. I have a life debt to Chelsea. It's given me the confidence. It's given me the courage. It's given me the motivation to become who I am. Um, after a year of doing this, I am now training to be a trainer. Uh, I take my written exam in July through NASM. Uh, and hopefully I can train under the best. I have Chelsea, I have Jill, Andrea, um, Kira, I mean, you name it, Christy. Uh, it's a pack of wolves here, you know? You can't go wrong with them. They are teaching you to be the best. They expect nothing but the best. And to those people who told me I couldn't do it, you just watch me. I'll do it, and I can't wait to be on that floor training the rest of you. When you 
walk into the gym. Allow yourself to use the tool of physical training to translate to psychological training. That's when it changes. Who's felt that for themselves in the building today? Oh yeah. Who's more positive because of burn? Who's got more energy because of burn? Who's got more friends because of burn? It's the St. Louis magic. It's the magic. And uh, I uh, just wanted to say thank you, that's it. Two claps on two, one, two. Awesome, y'all. Burn STL!